light the fire You place the flowers in the glass No, 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 Gina, stop, it hurts. Ah, oh, you're so much cooler. I know I am, Kakarot. I bet you wish you could be as awesome as I am, but you can't because you're stupid. No, oh, you're running so stupid. Oh, God, stop hurting me so much. No, I'm not going to stop hurting you because you deserve this because you're ugly, stupid, and I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Dad, where, where are you going? Any word that isn't here! I'm not wasting another second of my life with that damn banshee of a woman! I'll burn in hell, you deadbeat. Deadbeat? I've done nothing but provide for this family! And that's how you speak to me? Enjoy working the corner for the rest of your life, because that's all that you've ever been good for! Wait, Dad, please! And you! I had such high hopes for you, but you consistently lag behind every other child your age. You're as disappointing as this sham of a marriage. I'm out of here. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, great. Just my damn luck that you and your worthless mother moved to this shithole of a town. I'm here to chaperone the dance for my daughter. Okay, I am not your daughter. Wait, he is your stepdad? Oh, look who came crawling back. Well, you can just turn your sorry ass around. I didn't need your help raising our son, and I don't need your help chaperoning this dance. Oh, lovely. You're drunk. Good to see things never change. Uh, fuck you. You know what? I don't need this. Utsu wasn't even supposed to go to this school in the first place. She belongs in a normal school with normal people. I'm pulling her out of this dump and I'm getting her away from you flamers. Whoa, Whoa that is you not cannot okay. say that. Come on, Utsu. Let's go. No, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. I happen to like it here. Damn straight. Pete stays with us. Who said that? Uh, uh, no one. I didn't hear anything. Did you hear something? <laughs> That's so strange. It must have been the wind. <laughs> Let's go, Utso. Now. Screw you. <laughs> no. What? She said, screw you. Get out of here before I spit roast you. Uh, phrasing. Fine. I'm out of here. Anything not to have to see your disappointing face again. And Utso, we're going to have a long talk about your disobedience later tonight. Good riddance. I'm going to have a chat with that principal about making sure that that man is never allowed back in this building again. You kids, go back to the dance. I'm sorry that he tried to ruin your night like he tries to ruin everything. Yeah, all right, starting your back up. Wow, you really let him have it. Thanks for- Oh no, don't you even start! Oh, not finished, I guess. What? You didn't think to tell me that your stepdad was my biological father?! I didn't know. Though, in hindsight, there are quite a few similarities that maybe should have tipped me off. Is the tie thing genetic, or...? Were you trying to make a fool out of me?! I- uh, Hey, Antero, maybe lay off her, man. <laughs> Tugs! Hey! If you want to fist someone so bad, then you fist me! Uh, phrasing... Yushikun, please don't! No, you know what? I've had it with this ass munch constantly taking his anger issues out on everybody else. It's getting real old. Ooh, big man Yusha here to save the day. Must be hard being the main character of life. And Tiro-kun, please? Oh, stuff it, dude. You're just mad because your deadbeat dad left you. It's not my fault, and it's certainly not B's fault. Guys, come on, enough. Oh, <laughs> and what exactly would you know about deadbeat dads, Yusha? Don't you dare. Oh, that's right. You wouldn't know anything at all. You don't have any parents. And Tiro. And why is that? What exactly happened to your parents, Yusha? Yusha-kun! There we go. That's the answer to all your problems, isn't it? Burn them all away, just like you did to your parents. Wait, what? What is that supposed to mean? Oh, you mean you guys didn't know? Yusha's an orphan, but not because his parents were in a car crash or shot in some alley. 
Your precious Yusha murdered his own parents when he was just a baby! Oh, snap. That... that can't be true. You're... you're lying! There's no way! Go ahead! Tell them, Yusha! Tell them how you couldn't control your fireomancy powers so you ended up burning down your house while your parents were inside! Fireomancers are people with special gifts. Those special gifts involve shooting fire out of your hands. I found out I was a fireomancer when I was only one years old. Yusha Kun! Yusha, wait! That's right, run away! Coward! So, if you could just make sure he isn't allowed back in the building, I think they'll be the best for everyone. Of course, Mrs. Bad Guy She. Had I known about the history between you two, I would have never asked you both to chaperone. My sincerest apologies. Oh, um... Mr. Yusha, what a surprise. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Bad Guy She, could you give us a moment? Oh, of course, of course. I'll get out of your hair. What's the matter, champ? Uh, and Hiro, he... Uh, his dad, he spit-roasted, and B was... did... and the tongs, he, he fisted, and... Uh, whoa, 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 slow down. Does this have anything to do with Mr. Bio? Mr. Bio is Antiro's real dad, and, and Antiro got mad, and he hit tugs, and then I, I tried to stop him, but, but he... He told everyone about your parents. Huh? Yes, I remember seeing it on the news all those years ago. Local child incinerates parents and fireomancy accident. Such an awful tragedy. I of course knew that you were the boy from that story before admitting you to the school. I was advised not to for safety reasons, but I couldn't deny you. It was, after all, just a tragic accident. And you were just a baby. Your name wasn't given out on the news. I wonder how Mr. Bad Guy She could have found out. Hmm. Mr. Principal, am I... Am I a danger to everyone here? My dear boy, of course not. This is a facility meant to help people like you control your fireomancy powers. This is exactly where you belong. Though I do understand your feelings. After all, living with the guilt of knowing what you did can't be easy. To accidentally cause the death of your own parents... It must make it near impossible to form close bonds with anybody. It's only natural that you'd be cautious. The fear of knowing that it may happen again. All it would take is for you to lose control for a single instant. And you could cause unspeakable damage. What a dreadful burden. Ah, but enough of this talk. Why don't you head home for the night? I'm sure you could use the rest. Uh, okay. Oh, and Yusha? Uh, yeah? Do keep in mind that you can always come to me with whatever may be troubling you. I may be your principal, but I like to think I can be your friend, too. You know I just hate to see you in misery. Yeah, okay. Thanks. taking forever, been four blocks away for the past two hours. Must believe you're gonna get a one-star review. Oh, I'd be at home watching my stories by now if I still had my license, but apparently seven DUIs is too many. Uh, oh, uh, hey there, you're probably wondering why I'm still here. Um, you see, my, my Lambo is in the shop because uh, my, my supermodel wife accidentally dented it while she was backing out of our ten-car garage and... <laughs> you, uh... You all right there, guy? I got in a fight. Now all my friends hate me. Yikes. That, uh, sounds rough. You know, I'd, um, offer you a ride home, but, uh, <laughs> my Lambo. <laughs> Boy, you aren't doing great, huh? Um, okay, tell you what. 
I'm not really supposed to do this, but uh, there's this place I go to whenever I'm feeling down. They're open 24-7 to help people feel better. So why don't you take this card and go to the address on it? It's only a few blocks away from here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that's my good deed for the month. Now I can draw and quarter this late-ass Uber driver guilt-free. Uh, okay, I think this is the right place. Sorry to read this address with tears in my eyes. Hey, kid! You look like you're feeling down. I bet I got something that can make you feel better. Uh... Today, 